we're live. <laughs> Alright, All right. what's up everyone? Today's video is going to be more of a informative, uh, showing you everything I got for my 464 valve block. Uh, Maybe a little dry, but some people want to see this. Uh, this build is uh, from an 04, or this block is from an 04 Mach 1. So no one, there are people that have done it, but no one really does uh, a 46 watt block build. So they usually stick with the test kit blocks, which is understandable, but this is what I got, so this is what I'm working with. So I'm just gonna go through, list the parts I got, and uh, share some knowledge with y'all. <clears throat> All right, so what I decided to do is I stuck with one shop that gets parts from a bunch of other shops. So I went to Modular Head Shops online. Uh, Jordan Martin is who I dealt with, and Christy, his secretary, or wherever she is. But uh, they have some excellent service over there, hooked me up with everything I needed. And basically everything here, minus a few parts, I got from that website. And uh, they hooked, hooked me up with some good deals. Um, so essentially I went with the 1000 horsepower rotating, rotating assembly and all the supporting mods to support that. So we'll start off uh, with the watt block, it's a 4.6 watt block that was bored 20 over. Uh, I just want to freshen up the block so I did a, tw a bore 20 over uh, and yeah. So uh, I went with the 20 over pistons, uh, as you can see I went with Wesco, Wesco pistons and K1 connecting rods. Uh, I just, I, I like Wesco. I think they're pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good, uh, pretty good brand. All right, so, uh, so now we're on pistons. Uh, so this is my piston head. This is a negative 6cc piston head uh, instead of like a flat top piston head. Um, I did the negative 6cc to put my compression ratio at a, at a 971. The reason I stuck with a little higher of a compression ratio is because this is going to be a street car. Um, if I was doing more of a drag build, I would have done lower compression such as like 901 or even lower than that, like 851 or something crazy like that. Um, but we're staying moderate. So these are the Wesco Pistons, boom, 20 over. 357 or no 3.5 what is it 3.0 3.752 oh, uh, is the diameter of it these are the k1 connecting rods um yeah k1 connecting rods so as you can see a bit different like the thickness uh, it's not a bit it's a lot different <laughs> like it's pretty huge and then the difference in the piston head yep so, junk not junk. I just want to buy it for like yeah, yeah, twenty bucks. I got I got these listed on Facebook Marketplace for like twenty five dollars. <laughs> Maybe I want to do a stock rebuild. Alrighty. Now these are the wrist pins. These are important, uh, especially running in boost applications. You need to get the tool steel wrist pins. They're a little stronger and they provide a better um, how do I put it a better. Uh, Sealing? Yeah, better sealing. When you put this on your wrist? Yep. It's a, when you drag race, you just throw it on your wrist and supposedly it helps you go faster. But you can either do that. And if you get fast, or oh, fast, <laughs> fat wrists, you, uh, you kind of shave it, shave, shave it off and bend it. Yeah. And do all sorts of stuff. But they go around your piston like that. We just haven't done it yet because we just bought tools to uh, shave it. And, For 20 bucks. Oh, sorry. My bad. <laughs> we'll edit that part. So, tool steel wrist pins. Very important buy when getting when you're trying to push anything more than 500 horsepower. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I, I would do that unless you're trying to push anything from a thousand up, I guess. And then I went with four performance high flow billet oil pump. Boom. There she is. But the yeah. HO for HO, high output. And we got a new pickup too, too. <clears throat> right there. I don't want to break it up. It's kind of nice. Something else we're waiting on, which should be coming in this week, is we have our injectors 
but we're missing our fuel pump and our fuel pressure regulator. Uh, uh, yeah. With the fuel pressure regulator, I went with Magna Fuel uh, because they do a lot of good Ford stuff, and I just like how their stuff looks. Uh, <laughs> the Magna Fuel fuel pressure regulator. Yeah, there's nothing really to that one. But the Magna Fuel fuel pump is a 625 LPH, I think, fuel mm. pump. That is some good. Pretty, pretty hefty. That's some good uh, fuel consumption. Or fuel something. Fuel pressure. Or fuel pumpsation. <laughs> <laughs> fuel pumpsation, indeed. I know. I can't wait to use all these stickers. I'm thinking about putting all the stickers, like when I pop my hood, all the stickers will be under it, and then I'll clear coat it so like they don't get like burnt or something. Is the douche worse, uh fuel injectors. Um, here they are. 1200 cc. Got some good cc's up in this one. The one thing I did like about these is uh, it came with the sticker, of course. Gives you more cc's. Yep. Uh, but not only did it come with the stickers, it came with a chart, which helps a lot with the halt tech and tuning. This is actually pretty helpful. Uh, you plug most of those numbers in right onto the halt tech tuning and it just. Oh, look at that. They got a Mustang right on, on there. That's how you know. Oh, that's my. <laughs> there we go, you see? It only gets better from there. <laughs> but uh, 1200cc injectors. I was going to go get them tested. I feel like there's no reason to because they're brand new. And it has the flow data sheet right here. And usually when you get them tested, this is all you really need is the flow data sheet. I'm pretty sure these guys tested it before they sent it out. So. Yeah. So it wasn't. I was going to. But it's a good way to save money because I think it's 15 bucks per injector, and you know, it's probably going to be more after that because of our good old shops over here charging an arm and a leg. <laughs> <laughs> you know who you are. <laughs> These are my high flow fuel rails uh, made by Division X uh, billet fuel rails, too. Very nice. Uh, good quality. Um, those are down. You can see it comes with the in and the out, but then this one also, uh, you can plug in gauges and sensors and all that and get it right from the fuel rail. You don't have to like get it from the fuel pressure you can get it from the fuel rail. Wow. I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of dark. Uh -huh. Now spark plugs, I didn't think you had to put so much thought into getting spark plugs. They make spark plugs for high boost applications. Uh, so those are the NGK spark plugs. The specific is NGK BR7EF. Oh, and then another part I was super excited about getting because of the weight reduction is oh, this tubular K-member. This thing is so awesome. It is so light weight, like literally just really strong tubes put together. Um, it has to weigh like 25 pounds maybe. And uh, this, the OE or the stock one that's in the car right now, it's gonna minus 120 pounds. Uh, so putting this in, weight reduction in the front end that's is 125 a pounds. That's a lot of weight. That's pretty ridiculous. Um, with this kit, came with the uh, coilover springs, which are super cool. Yep, <laughs> and uh, it came with the tubular A-arms. I got a whole bunch of new front end suspension parts that I've just got off trades from trading people exhaust parts and stuff. But, Tubes. Yep. <laughs> Literally, tubular. if we had, also what came with this uh, this uh, tubular K-member was uh, these tow hooks. So when I get myself on a dyno and I'm making a thousand horses, these tow hooks are easy so they don't have to like wrap under the wrap under uh, I don't know it just makes it easier because the tow hooks are there if I want to throw it on a trailer you fool me once yeah. shame on you <laughs> but you can't fool me twice because I got tow hooks <laughs> <laughs> and now we are getting to the good stuff this was probably one of the most exciting uh, buys um, I got this used matter of fact brand new it's 2000 I think it's close to 2,000 bucks, but this is going to be my ECU. This is going to be the heart of my car. Um, it's a little small. 
you plug it up under your dash or something like that. But I plug my computer into this and I can tune basically anything and everything in my car. That is sweet. That is the Elite 2000. Um, 2000. Yeah, Elite 2000. More parts that we got with the Haltech, which is like gonna be probably the biggest headache of this car, is a full universal wiring, wiring harness. Which let me tell you something. There is a lot of a lot of wires that go to an engine, and getting this wiring harness kind of scared me a little bit. But the wiring harness is like labeled. So yeah, it's already labeled. It's like comes pre-labeled, and then these additional wires, you just put tape on them, and then you label like what this is. And it came with a separate fuse box, uh, so you st you still run your fuse okay. box that's in the car, but that fuse box is solely for the ECU and the engine. I'm a Hall Tech, rep my RSA. Shout out to Ozzy. Hope you're doing well. Ooh, I stole this from some guy on Facebook Marketplace. Uh, it was a steal. This brand new is like 225 bucks. It is the AM AFR gauge. I had my harmonic balancer and I was like, oh, well it's rusty, let me make it look good. So I took a grinder to it and <laughs> ended up being a cutting wheel and I messed it up. So that was a big expensive mistake. Uh, but we got an even nicer harmonic balancer. This thing is crazy. Like, check that. A foam. Innovator West. This thing is super lightweight compared to the other one. It's just uh, your average six, uh, six, uh, six thread. Um, super lightweight. Uh, it's meant for boost applications, I guess. Uh, that's what it says. Um, but I needed one, so I ended up just going with this one. Dang. Wow, I think I like this one better. Wow, it's kind of has <laughs> it has its own feel to it, yeah. like a majestic, old school Let's feel. Go. I don't know. Junkyard. We'll throw that one in a showcase and then I'll just throw this yeah. one back on. To mention this, I'm a fist inside, but these are King Racing uh, high performance bearings. Uh, you'd never want to reuse the stock bearings. Um, these are just meant for going fast. High horsepower, a lot of heat, um, necessity. I went with King Bearing because most of the famous guys use King Bearing, so it has to be good. <clears throat> I hope. I guess we'll find out. Yeah, you don't want to uh, reuse the stock bearing because it gets, it gets worn out. I'm, I only plan to just floor this car. That's the only thing I'm going to do. <laughs> is I'm going to start it and then just floor it. So, <laughs> y'all yeah, see in the next video the crankshaft, but the crankshaft is uh, from Eagle Performance. Uh, that was a pricey piece in the whole rotating assembly. Probably one of the most expensive parts in the rotating assembly, but... It is so heavy, like the difference between the stock one and that one. So the stock one's a six bolt and the not stock one is the eight bolt, the Eagle one, and it should hold some power. Yeah, he pretty much bought a block of steel. That thing is so heavy. And it's hefty. Yeah, so hopefully it can withstand some, some ponies. And to see how much play. Hey, your shirt's probably good. Oh, dope. <laughs> I told you this is gonna be my favorite part about the build. <laughs> Check it. Haltech T. Now everyone knows that you run Haltech wire. What? Unlock your power. Power! <laughs> More power, baby! Alright, so I got that. Got a sweet lanyard. They're actually, this is probably a sponsorship. This is the, probably their way of asking <laughs> if they want to sponsor me. And you know, I'll think about it. I'll throw it on the back burner. This is the uh, Australian oh. color and the America color. You need to spend money on some. It has to be the, the computer. Because uh, that's, that's what control your uh, As you can see, what's missing from this pile is a bunch of stuff. But some of that bunch of stuff is the heads. The heads right now are in Florida uh, getting machined. The heads are getting cleaned. Uh, cleaned. Uh, bronze valve guides, new valve stem seals, and new exhaust seats. Uh, I got the stage two valve springs getting put in, and then uh, uh, the stage two and a half K 
cams, uh, the stage two and a half turbo cams from Top Cams, uh, are getting built at the moment, getting made. And uh, I, can give you, I, can give you, I can give you some details on the turbo cams if y'all interested. But it has the 228 by 226 duration. Uh, yeah. And then next, we went with all ARP head studs and main studs. Uh, that's just like a must. When you're rebuilding, you can't use the stock bolts. You gotta do ARP uh, bolts. And then, this is big. We stuck with this, the OEM, or new, but OEM uh, head gasket. It's a four layer head gasket. The only reason I did that was because it's a lot cheaper and those head gaskets are good for 1500 horsepower. So, no need to waste your money on the kinetic. I mean, unless you're trying to go lower compression, no need to waste your money on the kinetic uh, head gaskets um, because the OEM ones are like $150 less and can hold 